Hey, Adam Colbertson here. Before we begin, we got a promo from another independent podcast, so when you finish this episode, make sure you go and check them out. Hello, and I am Zach, host of Podcast Junkie. Podcast Junkie is a tool for podcast listeners of all genres who are searching for their next favorite show. I review a different podcast series or season each week, helping discerning listeners like you discover new shows and connect with their creators. Each episode lasts between 4 to 15 minutes and gives you, the listener, a quick overview of the week's selection, what to expect from this show, and why I think you should add it to your queue. I'll even toss in a bite-sized snippet from an episode or even their trailer. Along with doing these weekly reviews to help you get in touch with a new podcast, I also support indie podcasts through my merch sales and Patreon contributions. Find out more about that and myself over on Twitter, at CastJunkie, or over at CastJunkie.com. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope I can help you find your next favorite binge. Steal your mind for eldritch horrors of the universe unknown. For what is to follow is a tale of intrigue, mystery, and madness. You're listening to Microphone and monsters. So, Alistair, as you walk through the door, you're back in Evangeline's house. You're in the study. Uh, Books are strewn everywhere. uh, And you're looking down at uh, your tome. You're the the book on Tulsha. And uh, you remember this. You You were looking for answers, trying to find out how to get Evangeline back. And you hear a voice behind you. Alistair. Yes, hello? What is this, Alistair? That's not me. Or is... That's me. But it's not me. Wait, wait, so... You see... (laughs) uh, You see the green-eyed cat, and you also see another (laughs) green-eyed cat. Oh, boy. Wait, Wait, but... I mean, obviously, one of you is the one from from the actual memory, but the other is the you from now, correct? Yes, I believe this might have been the first time we met. Well, well, yes, yes, it definitely would have been. What's he going on about? Uh, You know, I don't even remember. I I only half pay attention to what you say anyway. (laughs) (sighs) I don't remember what happened next. Um, well, well, now that you mention it, I think everything is a a little, a little fuzzy for me, too. I remember meeting you, and I remember uh, having some type of a conversation here that all just seems to go black. And as as you say that the 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 green eyed cat that you're not talking to says, "I'm sorry, Alistair," and his mouth gets really big, and he's he's like he's opening his mouth, and it's opening wider and wider and wider, and it looks like he's about to eat you. Oh yes, <laughs> I remember now. 
<laughs> yes, th- this this makes a lot more sense. <laughs> I remember now. <laughs> I'm, although, I'm sorry. Although, this part. although um, I still don't remember what happened after this. And uh, the the green eyed cat is going like to, to to try and eat you. Yes, yes. I, I mean, I mean, I suppose we've always had that dynamic. No, I'm saying I'm I'm telling you that's what's happening. Like right now, the 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 green eyed cat You're is about is to <laughs> about to eat you. Like he's going for you. I'm saying that as Adam. <laughs> you should do something about this situation. Well, um, you know, uh, pardon me for just a second, and I, I do hope you'll forgive me for this, but um, I'll go ahead and try to Eldritch Blast the, the green cat that's trying to eat me, the green-eyed cat that's trying to eat me. Okay, so you, you, you shoot into his mouth, because that's really mm-hmm. the only, that's the biggest target. That's, that's the only target. <laughs> uh, you shoot into his mouth, it just cuts a, a, a big wide hole, like like two big wide holes through him, and you see stones on on the other side of, of those holes, and then everything starts to deteriorate and, and melt away into the floor. And you know, I don't suppose that this really was anything, but um, you, you're all right, right? Like that didn't affect you. That that's not me, Alistair. Well, well, yes, I know that, but I just want to make sure that you're okay. Oh, I do wonder, what what are we suppressing? Would, would that have shown us more on what happened? Well, I would kind of prefer not to think about it. You're probably right. Where are those other two? That is a, a fair question. I wonder if they actually came into the tower or not. All right, we'll cut back over to Julian and Victor. Where were we? Y'all were in the hallway. You yeah. were talking about... Uh, Julian sure. said he thought he had something, but doesn't know if it'll work. So uh, I'm just going to pull out the Vox box. <laughs> hey! <laughs> That's a thing. And uh, I'll see if I can uh, communicate. Um, uh, Alistair, are you there? You hear it. Oh, um. Yeah. Yes, yes, I'm here. Um, are, are you inside the tower? I'll just I'll look at Victor. Just, uh, yes. Um, we all got separated, and Victor and I are together in a room with... It's the stone... Or brick, brick room, stone floor... Yeah, you're in the hallway. Doors. Yeah, outside of the them. hallway. Yeah. Um, where, where, where are you? Um, well, I'm currently in one of those same rooms. Um, there seem to be a lot of those actually here. Yeah. Yes. There, there are a lot of those rooms. Um, uh, uh, Victor is going to remember that he has a Vox box as well, because. I and Victor had completely <laughs> forgotten. Because um, Julian's the one that was using it all the time in Savedas. That wasn't me. Yeah. Um, so I'll step a, I'll step a foot or two away from him so that uh, so that it won't feedback. There's no feedback. Yeah. Because <laughs> if I didn't, you would tell us there was feedback. And yeah. I'd be yeah. like, I, I, I left one of the rooms and then was in another one at some point. But there's, But there were three rooms where we were. And one of them was open and empty. Did you leave? Well, room? I'm I'm currently in the third room that I've been in, so yes. I, I've left two before. Well, did you go up or down any stairs? We're in a room with stairs and a corridor. Well, well, before I went um, down some stairs. Oh, no, that was that was a in. That was in the. Oh. That was the stairs from the basement in that house. Oh, well, we are. We well, yeah, at, yeah, but I still we went down. Oh, some yeah, he still went down some stairs. I got you. I thought you said mm-hmm. he wasn't in the other room, in the third room that was in this hallway. I thought we looked He's in not. that way. He's no, not. that was that was y'all's second room. He's in his third room. Okay. I know it's not helping, but uh, Alistair did go down some stairs. Yeah, he, he went downstairs, <laughs> and it didn't make any sense to you. Of him going downstairs, he was being, uh, yeah. Wait, so there aren't Caddy. any stairs down from where we are? 
there the stairwell goes up and down. Okay. It it may be best if we just go up. I mean, after all, that's where really where we're trying to go in the first place. And and generally down is not terribly good for us. No, all it's right. not. Yeah. Julian and I will start making our way up and you go ahead and come up too. Maybe go a little bit oh, fast slow. Fast slow? Hold on. <laughs> I've got an idea. And um I'm gonna pull out a ninja star and and um throw it at Julian. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> just take him out. It's like, all right, now we don't gotta worry about him. Um, no, you just gotta cause them to bleed, and then as you go up the stairs, it'll cause a blood trail. And yeah, <laughs> a clue. Yeah. <laughs> stay, stay on the on the Vox box. Um, I'm gonna and and go up a set of stairs, and I'm gonna throw a star to mark where we are, and we'll okay. see if you. I don't. I'm not screw that. That's stupid. Never mind. Just trash <laughs> all of say, that just now. Whatever. I, was gonna say, I could, I could, I could mark something. Yeah, with, with a cantrip with or whatever. The, with the magical tinkering, and you don't have to do that. Yeah, yeah. Well, you yeah. could even just scratch an X in the wall. Like, yeah, you can yeah. scratch. Yeah. That's what I thought you were gonna do. Okay, whatever. That's all in the past. We don't worry about that. Just like the right, Victor right. said before. Um, just start making your way up, and we will too. Very well. There we go. Let's all just go upstairs. <laughs> and not downstairs. Yep. Everybody upstairs. We know that stuff is upstairs, and that's probably where we eventually want to be. All right. I'll, 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 I'll follow I'll, I'll follow Victor, but, I mean, I'm kind of also, like, kind of half out of it based yeah. on the events that happened before. Yeah, so I'm, yeah. Like, just, I'm not, like, going faster than him. I'm making sure. So if Alistair does happen to be downstairs from us, he's faster because Julian's regular speed is 30 and he's probably not walking as fast as he normally does no i'm so I'm very very much out of it i'm Victor's sort of like taking lead on this yeah i'm i'm sort of taking lead and watching julian turning back making sure he's behind me you know keep keep it going julian yeah <laughs> <laughs> well we'll keep going quick quick and pace yep all right, so back at back at y'all are going up the stairs, and y'all, it's just seemingly endless. As you're just going up and up, and you're not coming across any hallways, you're just going up and up. And then Alistair, as you open the door, mm-hmm. and it swings out, you hear the green-eyed cat. And he's like, "Alistair, are you sure you want to go through that door? Every time you walk through a door, you end up in another memory of your past." Well, I, I suppose that is a fair point, and. Um, I, I don't suppose there are too many memories that I really want to go through. Um, I don't know. Do you have any other suggestions? I don't see another door. Do we just wait here? I mean, if we wait here, we don't get anywhere. What if they arrive and they were able to get through the doors, but we don't know how to get through the door. Maybe they can break it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just worried that if you go through the door again... We'll end up in another memory, and thinking back on those memories, I would not like to be in them. Me too. Well, depending on where we go from there, you may not be. But I suppose you are perhaps right. I can't say that you've really steered me wrong. All right, so y'all are going up the stairs, up the stairs, up the stairs. Alistair, yep. you're just like waiting. For him. Yes, as, as a matter of fact, I'm um, going to close the door back. And then I'm, I'm going to actually get on the, the Vox box again. Okay. Um, so, slight change of plans. I, I just want to maybe see if this will work. Um, as you're, you're coming up the stairs, if you happen to find a closed door, if you would maybe try and break it in and, and see who's in it. All right, we can do that. All right, so y'all are going up, up, like y'all are fucking walking for days up these stairs. And then you get to another hallway that looks similar 
<laughs> to like every hour, hour Alistair's just going to be like, um, are, are you here yet? <laughs> like, I, I mean, are you still coming? Like, I feel like I'm Dave getting really tired of waiting. <laughs> it's an exaggeration. We've probably gone up four or five sets of stairs. <laughs> no, like this like, tower is huge. Okay. <laughs> Need some it's exercise. A lot of stairs, but y'all get to a hallway finally after going up like 30 flights Jeez, I'm, of stairs. I'm tired. <laughs> is this a few then, is, is this a few flights after Alistair said check for a door or is it immediately after? Uh probably a little bit after cuz he would have been talking with the green-eyed cat probably okay, going cool, back cool. and forth with him for a little bit. Got it. Um and y'all are moving at 30 feet. See, if this is taking longer than 10 minutes, I'm just going to nap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> so Alistair's just just napping at this point um every now and then the green-eyed cat like like gets his attention. He's like, w- w- "Where are they?" And and uh, y'all get to that hallway, and you see, as you go down the hallway, you see three doors, and they're all closed. They're all closed. Okay. Well, I know what happened the last time I opened up one of these, and kind of reluctant to do so again. Alistair. On the box box. Yes. On the box box. I was able to kick down the door uh, when I found Julian. Can you maybe shoot one of them lasers at the door in your room, see if anything happens? Yeah, sure, why not? And I'll go ahead and try and Eldritch Blast the door. All right. <laughs> yeah, you, we're, we're, you standing, Eldritch... we're not standing in front of any of these doors before, before, you start, before you do anything. We are here at the beginning of the hallway, and we see the three doors in front of us. All right, and you see... You see a, a door fly off into the wall, um, very similar to the like whenever the explosion with the mech, like the door went blasting out, mm-hmm. like it's that, but but it's pushed out by purple energy rather than fire. All right, and then I'll just yell down the hallway, "Found you!" <laughs> <laughs> well, um, and uh, like looking at the green-eyed cat. Uh, well, it seems like this waiting was fairly pointless then, if all I had to do was just blast the door down. I still stopped you from walking through it. <laughs> well, I, I'll give you that point. And, and I'll go ahead and try to walk through it. <laughs> all right, yeah, you, you other two, you just, you just see, after, after the blast comes out, you just see a little cat. There we with go. With a backpack run out, like with his, with his tiger, red tiger stripes <laughs> <laughs> and his fiery eyes. Good job, oh, Alistair. <laughs> and I'll reach down and pet him. <laughs> <laughs> well, Alistair will me... give you a cross look, but ultimately he's not going to stop you. Yeah. There we go. There we go. See? I think that's the first time Alistair's let either of us pet him ever. <laughs> yeah. I'm not petting him. <laughs> that's fine. Fuse. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so y'all are back together again. Mm-hmm. Reunited. And you have those two other closed doors and the stairwell that goes up and down. And very fresh reminders of how fucked up our life was. Yes. Yes. Very much so. And one of them almost killed one of y'all. Yes. Mm-hmm. Alistair blasted everything. <laughs> and Victor was just like, I'm not doing this. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. Victor, no. No, no, no. You make it go there, away. Three very different responses to your past. <laughs> Alistair <laughs> resorted to Eldritch Blast the entire time. I mean, that's so out of character for him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, no, no, to be fair, to be fair, you talked a bit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, Alistair played along some. <laughs> like he he was trying to use them to get information or get things that he wanted out of them. Yeah. <laughs> and and Victor gave it a shot for about thirty seconds until he yeah. figured out that <laughs> that it wasn't going to end well, and he was just not not dealing. <laughs> like I know how this story ends. So y'all are in that hallway. You're wanting to go back up the stairs. Well, After saving Alistair. Yeah. Or yeah. getting Alistair. I guess he wasn't say, really saved. 
<laughs> I saved Alistair. Yay. <laughs> Um, Alistair, after saving himself. So after you, you you go back down the hallway and you get to the stairs, and there is no stairs down anymore. It's just stairs up. Thank God. Uh, right. That just the means one, we teleported to the bottom. I, I, I might want to go downstairs. Hard part's <laughs> over. <laughs> the hard part's over. Thank goodness. Well, I guess there's no way to go but up. Looks like it. Yeah. Julian, are you all right? No, but we've got more important things to think about right now. Okay. Just want to make sure you're ready. I don't think you can get ready for what we're about to do, to be fair. But Rumble. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, as I will remember from last session, I will uh, affix the mask back on my face because I took it off. Yeah. Good thinking. Mm -hmm. All right. So you you head up the stairs, and it's not that long before you, you see the, the orange glow, the light at the top of the stairs from outside. You hear, you hear wind, very strong wind, like, blowing, like, at the top of this tower. Okay. Like... Hmm. I didn't expect a wind. Well, uh, I suppose that it, means there must be some type of opening. Yeah, does it, does it sound like, oh, a, the roof. like a like a draft or something or like Yeah, yeah, it outside? sounds like a like a like a draft, yeah. Okay. I mean the tower is really tall. Yeah, and then there was that there was a hole. Is that did we say that the hole got fixed or whatever? The hole that got blown out like on the fifteenth floor or something yeah. like that from yeah, that was that was uh fixed. By the the insect crab thing. We think. Okay. Um, I don't know. Is there is there anything that we need to do before we continue on forward? I mean, Victor, would it not be Victor. out of the question? <laughs> Victor's going to open his bag of uh, um, his 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 backpack of holding there. He's going to pull out his uh, his plus. Two or three athletics brew. Yeah, hey, that's a good <laughs> idea. <laughs> nice. How, how long did how long did you say that lasts? Uh, after I have it. That's your plus two. It, it, it's either a plus two or three. You you say because it's one of the longer length brews. Well, I'll give you I'll give you a plus three to athletics. Plus three for how long? Fuck, I don't remember. Um, <laughs> how about we say fifteen minutes and it probably will cover the fight. Yeah, fifteen minutes sounds okay. good. Okay, I'm hoping we're not fighting. It's pretty. It's pretty minutes. potent, but it's not enough to get you drunk. It's just yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You guys just see Victor pull, pull this out and just you got a nice buzz it. for fifteen minutes. Mm -hmm. mm. Victor, <laughs> Victor needs to learn the subtle art of sweeping. <laughs> Vic, Vic, Victor, Victor's on edge. He needed just yeah. something to take <laughs> something the edge to take off, off. Loosen, yeah. loosen him up a little bit. Like, like it's not even disorienting. Like, like Victor's actually getting more focused because he's able to relax a little bit. Yeah, so you're just downing it, and then, and then like, what? Like, throw, like, throw the bottle against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I'll just throw the bottle down the stairs. Let's All do right. this. <laughs> you hear it smash. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. <laughs> this is so out of character. <laughs> 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 well, after but last now I session, have a plus like, five to athletics. Yeah. So, <laughs> just in case. I don't think oh, I have man. any like buffing things that I could take right now. Let me check real fast. Well, I don't have any other ones, or I would get drunk. <laughs> plus, I don't think investigation is going to be very important for this fight. <laughs> <laughs> Never know. All right. Anything else mm. for you? You breached the top of the stairs. No, I don't have anything else I can do. I haven't used my lightning gun, so I don't need to charge it. But awesome. I still have the, the battery pack to charge it. That's yeah, good. and all you need is one turn to get it back up to full. Yup. And you can still bonus action or something, right? Uh, or is it a bonus action to charge it's not, it? It's I, not, I don't think it was a bonus action to charge it, was it? I think it's an action, if I remember yeah, right. Pretty sure. We, we, we got to know how, how we fight yeah, it's before a, it's we walk a, in. I have to take an action to do it, which is fine. Okay. And okay, what's cool. that? 
for the lightning gun for, for the, charging the, the lightning pack. gun back yeah yeah back. which are full up right now yeah yeah i haven't used it yet so uh, that is 40 charges potentially if i leave that all home. right yeah 40 yeah because you can use like five at a time yup or do you have plus five i have still plus five intelligence okay all right wasn't sure if you had gotten a plus six or not oh god uh, i wish <laughs> all right so yeah so you and alistair is just ready to go um, yes, I suppose. I mean, what else is he going to do? Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Alistair here. So, it really kind of baffles me that... Podmas's entire plan here is to make us go through memories that we've already lived through. I I don't really understand what the end game is here. I mean, this is all stuff that we've gotten through, and um, in some cases, I'm sure we've been dealing with it for a long time. But I don't see how that's really supposed to be detrimental to us. In fact, uh, some would even say that uh, being able to reflect on your past actually can improve you in some ways. So I'm I'm not sure I really get it to be honest. But in, in any case, I suppose we've we've all kind of gotten through all of our things, and um, I was able to, well, rescue myself out of the door, uh, as it were, after having a nice nap. I mean, I mean, if anything, I probably feel better now than I did when going into the tower. And all of us are together, and, and now actually heading up the tower. I suppose this whole thing is actually going to come to an end um, fairly quickly. I mean, when you think about it, uh, the Pallid Mask has really nothing to offer. It's all just kind of tricks and mind games and things like that. And I think we're already past the worst of it, really. I mean, what can he even possibly do? I, I, I think if it were really going to be that big of a deal, he would have made the whole thing a lot harder to begin with. And I, I suppose in, in one way, maybe it's just that he's very arrogant. But, you know, arrogance and all, it's, it's a very deadly thing. Uh, being too arrogant often can lead to some pretty horrible things. But in any case, uh, thank you for listening in. Um, as always, all of our music is written and produced by Marco Mazzi of Fallen Highway Studios. Uh, you can find all of our, our links to all of our podcatchers and things like that on our brand new website. Uh, you can still get it at the same place, uh, microphonesandmonsters.com or now uh, micsandmonsters.com as well. And uh, go check it out. It's, it's very nice and new, and and a lot of good work has been put into it. Uh, so I know we'd all appreciate it. Uh, you can even find some fan art to those uh, adoring fans who have decided to give me some of their praise. And don't forget to leave us a review on uh, any episode that maybe strikes your fancy in particular. Thank you again for joining in, and I hope you join us next time when we'll actually get to this fight with the pallet mask and and of course end it very shortly i'm sure <laughs>